Me slapping some creamy crack in my hair. You just made it weird. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am Ty Monet. My real first name, if y'all don't know, I think I always just say my name is Ty Monet, but my first name is actually Tyler. Growing up, I hated that I had a boy's name. I think now people think that it's like, oh, that's so cute, it's unisex. And it's like, I've met like two other girl Tylers in my life. So anyway, more about me. I am almost 35 years old. I'm a Leo, my birthday's in August, August the 9th. So next month I will be 35. I have a daughter, my little princess. I have a teenager, that is so weird to say. I actually have a teenager. She just turned 13. On my channel, you probably see a lot of hair videos, which I typically try to do one hair video every week, typically on Sunday. So you guys probably see several of those. A lot of you guys are probably here for my hair videos. I appreciate that. I do enjoy doing vlogs. I've told you guys that before. That cabinet being open annoyed me. Anyway, I do enjoy doing vlogs. I hope that you guys stick around for those. A lot of my vlogs are pretty chill. I don't do much. I'm not out here turning up, y'all. I'm a mom. I'm a mother. No drama. No drama. Okay, so yeah, you'll see some fitness stuff because yeah, I'm trying to look like something. The older that I get, I'm just trying to take care of my body, you guys. I'm trying to, you know, make sure that I'm like comfortable in my body. I've never been like, I mean, right now, if I go to the doctor, they'd be like, you're a little obese. But like, I've never been like really heavier set or anything like that. But, um, you know, I, I like to be comfortable in my clothing. <laughs> I'm a girl that likes to eat, y'all. So I just try to make sure that I make it to the gym. I try to balance the good with the bad. But anyway, y'all, that's enough about me. Um, please give this video a like. Um, I have playlists on my channel. So I have like hairless playlists. I have hairless playlists. I have, I have my hair content playlist. I have like my weekly vlogs or my fit vlogs. If y'all want to check out those playlists, just let them run, y'all. Also, you guys, please consider giving my videos a like and comment. I'm trying to get my engagement up. And typically, I have like my set few that comment on my videos. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are real ones. But um, yeah, don't be afraid to drop down in them comments and say something. Say hey to me. Say hey, what's up, Ty? Or whatever you feel like saying, you know. I do throughout the video, I'll like ask y'all's opinion on stuff. So feel free to comment and let me know how you feel about it. Other than that, also subscribe. I'm at 2,500 subscribers, y'all, which is crazy. I appreciate that, though. Truly, I do. Anyway, I just got off work. It's like five something. I'm out of breath because I've been talking a lot. I just got off work because it's five something. I didn't just get off because it's five something. It's five something and I just got off of work. Um, I got a package. This little man just came to the door, rang my... He not, he, y'all, he. And then rang the doorbell. I heard you. I heard you knocking 25 times. And I heard the doorbell too. Calm down, little man, okay? But it was something that I guess I had to sign for. So he wanted to make sure that he was heard so that he didn't have to try to re-deliver my stuff tomorrow. Let me show y'all what it is. Come with me. Come with me. I got my package. Let me show y'all. Can y'all see? We got some more stuff from Protein World, y'all. Um, I was running low on some of the things that I like. And shout out to Protein World, by the way. If you want to get some of these products, they are, y'all, I genuinely, I like their products. I enjoy the taste of it. Seriously, if you guys want to get some, I'll have my coupon code right here and I'll have a link in my description as well. Y'all, please 
get you some. It's really good. I really like the salted caramel bars. Um, those, like I said, they taste like a Twix bar. It is so good. I told you guys in a previous video that my daughter really liked those protein pancakes. Like, I bought other types of um, pancake mix, but she really, really liked the Protein World one. She was like, Mommy, when are you going to get some more? And I'm like, calm down, girl. I'll get some more. So I got some of that. And yeah, I think we'll have to open the box to see what else I got. I'm not going to lie. Them pancakes, they are good. I put some sausage, some little sausage patties in the middle of them. Wow, those were good. So let's open up this box and see what we got. We're just gonna use some keys. So yeah, I have two pairs of scissors that I typically keep in my kitchen. One is for these types of packages and the other one is for actual food. I can't find that one. All right. So, is this open? So I got some vegan, if y'all can see that. I got some of this vegan salted caramel protein mix. I wanted to try the vegan because I've been a little lactose intolerant these days. And some of this this didn't happen last time, but it seems like something is spilling a little bit. I got these protein pancakes. And it looks like this came in a different package. This package seems a little smaller than the first one. So yeah, and that is crazy. And then another, another tumbler which is cool, that's a cute little color. It says, feel feel good, look great. I'm about to go to the store. I need to pick up some feminine products, y'all, I swear. It doesn't matter how old I get, it seems. Like, each month, it's like a surprise. It's like a, oh my gosh, this is happening again? And why is there that much? Like every single month, I think the same thing. So need to go get some products. And I also, I, I've been taking melatonin lately and I ran out of my last little capsule. So I'm gonna get some melatonin. And yeah, I only take the five milligrams, but it seems to work pretty well. Lately, I've been going to bed at like four or something in the morning, so I'm like, I really need to get to bed earlier because I'll go to bed at like 4.30 and then wake up at like 8 and, um, you know, do my little work day. But I definitely need to be getting way more sleep and I need to be going to sleep. I need to be going to sleep way earlier. Like I'll sit up and watch Girlfriends. I don't know why that that show really like it speaks to me at this age. It speaks to me. But back when I was watching it way back when. I, I mean, it was like cool or whatever, but. It's like in your 30s, like that stuff really hits. Like you really understand what Joan and them girls are going through. So I've been like binging that and yeah, I need to be on a better sleep schedule. So y'all let me know, do y'all take melatonin or any, you know, sleep aids? Now look now, I ain't trying to take like nothing heavy. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, I don't need to feel like I had a horse tranquilizer or anything crazy. By the way, y'all, I'm back to my curly hair. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm 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 kind of feeling like I'm gonna straighten my hair a little more often. I don't need no heat damage though, but I don't know. As like a natural, it's like that goes against everything we stand for. But like, bump them rules. I'm tired of them rules. And a lot of naturals are like perming their hair like they're relaxing their hair nowadays and I'm like what is happening I mean I'm not mad at it that's your hair if do whatever you feel because this this stuff right this this stuff right here it's hard it is hard to manage it really is like 
a wash day for me is gonna take some hours and don't let me style my hair afterwards because that's gonna take some hours and don't let me do me and my daughter's hair on the same day oh my gosh mm. so yeah i i completely understand wanting to relax your hair um i don't know that i will be doing that anytime soon but if i do i'm gonna make a video and show y'all me slapping some creamy crack in my hair i'm definitely not gonna do my daughter's hair though can't see myself doing that if she wants to make that decision when she's older she can but i'm not gonna do that all right y'all <sighs> i just came out to the car tried to open my dough my door would not open because it was locked <sighs> I'm trying to take, y'all can probably see it. This right here, I put my, this little bit on it and put my camera on it. But um, the suction cup isn't suctioning to it anymore. So I'm going to put a new little suction piece up there if I can. But yeah, my keys, apparently I left my keys inside. And I tried to come out here and open my door. And I was like talking to the lady next door. I was like, hey, how you doing? Girl, looking stupid because I couldn't open my door. It's gonna pull my whole um thing up. Damn. Ooh, that thing stuck. How are people getting this up? <sighs> oh. All right, let's place a new one up there. Oh, you better work. Ooh, oh that stinks. All right, we're gonna place one right up here. Let's see if my little suction works. Wipe the suction off a little bit. Okay, it just needed a new suction. We're back in business, y'all. Let me screw y'all on here. Hold on a second. All right, y'all are up there. You snug, you snug, okay. Okay, so I think I have like three or four more. So we're good. I don't even know how long that lasted. I don't even, I don't use it often actually, so. Ow. I don't know if y'all could hear me. I have my air on full blast, but I don't know how long I had this up there. I don't use the little suction thing often, but yeah, at least I have four more left, three or four, so. All right, we're gonna head to CVS. I ain't got no CVS coupons though. Don't let me hit you. We only need two things. We only need some feminine products and melatonin. So that's all we need to get. Ooh, why she spit like that? Sir, Miss, Miss Ma'am. All right. Ooh, my stomach hurts. Hey y'all. So today me and my mom, we're gonna go to this place called, um, it's called Ronaldo's Cuisine, Culinary Kitchen. We'll let y'all know how it tastes when we get there. All right, y'all, we just got back from the place. There was lots of traffic. It took a while. We already tasted a slice because we were hungry. This is what it looks like. It's oxtail pizza. They have a lot of stuff on their menu. This is a 10 inch pizza, I think he said. And it was $25. I'm sure it's because the oxtail cost a lot at the store. We also got some wings. Parmesan garlic wings. 
Ooh. You like it? Mm -hmm. <gasps> no, I didn't get it. Oh, I thought I was spilling it. Your bread's in there. And my daughter got some Alfredo. This ran me about sixty something dollars. Where's my bread? I just had the bread in there. So this isn't a place that you can sit down and eat. You gotta get your stuff to go. It didn't take that long. It's hot in there though. It's hot. They're cooking in there. It, will pro it probably took like 15 minutes to make everything. Oh, these wings are big. So this is the garlic Parmesan wing. And I guess it's, it looks like it's battered. I usually don't eat battered and fried wings like that. I do wish the bread that they used for the pizza was different. They're just too chewy. They're, they're definitely making some money up in there. They had a shepherd's pie on the menu. <laughs> Not a shepherd's pie. Dang, what was it called? Some, some some kind of pie and it was $42. They also had a curry chicken pizza. They had a Philly cheesesteak roll. Mm -mm. They had a Philly cheesesteak roll that I wanted to try. So I have to go back because this is too much food already. Hey y'all, it's <laughs> it's Tuesday and I'm doing like a little, I have that derma, I'm sorry. I have that sulfa cleanse on my face and then I have like some, <laughs> I have a, a whitening strip on my teeth and I don't typically do that, but um, I found some in my top drawer, so yeah. Let me know, do y'all do any type of whitening strips or anything? I used to, a long time ago, I asked my dentist for like whitening, some a whitening tray. And the lady that was doing my trays for me, she was asking me like, do you really want them? Um, I don't think your teeth are gonna get much whiter. And they're not, like, my teeth aren't even white. I'm like, <laughs> There's nothing you can do for these teeth. And um, she didn't end up um, giving me a tray with some um, some of the little gel that you put in the tray and then you put them on for however long. I will say I didn't really notice much of a difference, but I don't have like the whitest teeth. So yeah, y'all let me know if y'all do any types of gel or strips or whatever to whiten your teeth. Um, or if you use a special toothpaste and mouthwash combo, y'all let me know that. So I sound ridiculous. I just came on to say, hey, what's up? Good morning. Uh, I don't want to, what I used to do when I first started vlogging is like I would make sure like I did my hair and put like a nice little face on and cleaned up my area around me and then I would get on camera. And y'all, that would make me a lot of days not even pick up the camera because I'd be like, dang, I don't want to do all that just to pick up the camera. So now I'm just putting myself in the mindset of like, it's okay to, be real and just get on camera how you are. So yeah, I just came on to say hey and let y'all know I'm about to make my daughter some of these pancakes from Protein World. Um, I make them in like little mini bits for her. She likes some little minis so that the edges are crispy. So I'm about to do that and I have to have these on for an hour. So I think another, what's my timer say? Another 30 minutes. So yeah, I'll check in with y'all later. I keep checking in with y'all while I'm in the kitchen. I don't know what that's about, but it is what it is. That's that's what I'm doing today. 
I guess there's some little kids outside. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye. just a kitchen vlog because that's where I'm gonna be this whole vlog. Do y'all um y'all put ketchup on your tortilla chips? wanted a couple chips while I eat dinner <laughs> not while I eat dinner while I cook dinner oh my gosh yeah why is everybody on the internet Roasting Kiki Palmer's boyfriend. Her son's father. I don't even know the man's name. So apparently she was at an Usher concert. And she was on stage with him and she was dancing. Living her best little life. And she had on an outfit that I guess he did not see before she left the house. But when he saw her on the internet he didn't like it and everybody is talking trash to him about it like that is so tough he really should have just boop, 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 called her waited till she got home and let her know that he didn't like that maybe he told her before she left the house that she didn't care I don't know but like that's feeling really oppy, like. Why would you put that on the internet? Like, what? why would you, why wouldn't you just tell her? Why wouldn't you just say, hey babe, I ain't like that. Let's not do that again, please. Instead, he told all of us. Oh, poor guy. Mm. Y'all think it was cool for him to do that on the internet or y'all think that he should have just like told her himself without us knowing? I'm so tired. I actually just drank a Celsius a few hours ago. So maybe it was a crash. I don't know, but I drank a Celsius. It wasn't even, it wasn't even that long ago. Maybe like two or three hours. And... I just like took a 20 minute nap because I was so tired. As soon as I got off, my daughter was like, um, it's dinner time, I'm hungry. I'm like, girl, <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little tired. Can you wait a little bit? Y'all, I swear it's like, it's so, I don't know. It's, it's so hard just being like, Not the only one somebody counts on, but like, um, I don't know how I want to put it. Like, it is, it's really tough just being, <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know how I want to phrase it. Um, but it's hard doing everything. Shoot. Last weekend I did her hair and was it last weekend? Yeah, I think it was last weekend. I braided her hair 
And it didn't take me as long as it normally does because I did the boxes bigger because she wanted bigger braids and bigger boxes. So I did her hair. It probably took me. Why is the oven making so much noise? Like turn on or don't. Okay. It probably took me like five hours to do her hair. And typically it takes me like eight. Maybe nine. Um, and then like right out and we both like got, we didn't get up early, but by the time we got up, it was like, and got ready to do her hair. It was like 12, one o'clock. And then by the time I was done, it was like six. So I, um, we, and we didn't eat anything. We just got up, started doing her hair. And right when I was done, she was like, I'm really hungry. And I was like, I'll go, you know, pick up dinner and, you know, so we can eat. But I'm like, I was dead tired. I had been standing on my feet for like four or five hours. And then I went straight from doing that to go pick us up something to eat. And I'm just like, <laughs> like, do you know how much better and okay, I get it. You're preheated. Like, do you know how much easier and less stressful it would have been if like, you know, I could have someone else pick up some dinner or you know make some dinner while I was doing her hair like sometimes those things get me a little sad just that I have to um do so much I don't I don't know why I'm just rambling on and just it's tough man like day to day having to do this and that especially she plays sports so like having a take her back and forth for her sports. Now that she sports has slowed down, she's injured. So I'm taking her back and forth from t PT to her, um, her doctor's visits and stuff. She has a doctor's visit tomorrow and she gets an x-ray on her hip to see how her little fracture is doing. And yeah, I mean, I have to, you know, take off work and make sure I can do that. If I'm taking her to PT, a lot of the time I, I just take my laptop with me and try to do some work from there. But at the doctor's office, I'm obviously not taking my laptop because I need to be engaged in a conversation, I assume, with people. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's tough. Oh, trash day's tomorrow. <laughs> That's another thing. I got to take the trash out. Got to make sure that we have all the trash so I can take that out. And, yeah. And then, like, it doesn't make it any better that we're both girls and we both have hair. <laughs> A lot of hair so I'm like always trying to figure out how to do hair like do hers on one day and then mine usually you know I'm looking like a whole mess so I don't know it's just rough y'all I'm making dinner I gotta do the dishes gotta clean I have a lot of clothes to fold um, yeah and she's not up and doing too much because of her hip so I don't make her like walk up and down the stairs like typically she takes the dishes out of the dishwasher and I put them in so I don't typically have her like come downstairs do the dishes go back upstairs like I don't have her doing all that right now not until she's healed up some more um just because I'm trying to get make sure that she's healed as quickly as possible and as smoothly as possible so that she can get back to doing her sports but I don't know it just it gets me down a lot <laughs> that I have all of this to do and I feel like my mind's never like at ease or at rest that's why earlier when I took a nap I could only take a nap for 20 minutes because I was like dang it let me hurry up and wake up and make some dinner so that she can eat um I just feel like I'm always my mind is always like on go I'm never like at ease and I'm always um doing stuff and trying to figure stuff out and gets tiring and luckily I only have one child <laughs> like if I have more than one I don't know what they'd be doing fix your own food okay do your own stuff do this do that do your sister's hair for her I know y'all are only five and, and eight years old but do you do your hair like I don't know but because when I was younger all of my siblings are like way older than I am so um, when I was younger, my oldest sister was living with us 
And so she, like my mom would have her do our hair. So that would take like, you know, the stress off of her from that perspective. But yeah, and I don't take my daughter to like salons to get her hair done. I mean, that would just be extra money, y'all. So yeah, it's hard out here. What do y'all do? And my parents don't live around. Her grandparents don't, I mean, her grandparents live just a couple hours away, her dad's parents. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And then you can't, you can't trust everybody. Like, I don't just ship her off to people's houses. Like, oh, can you? No, you don't, you don't do that. You don't trust everybody with your child. Um, you mess around and hear a story when she's 18 years old. Like, oh, you remember when you sent me to such and such's house? They were doing this and that. Like, mm -mm. no, we can't, we can't have that. So um there's like a i'm lucky to have like a, a handful of families and when i say a handful i i'm only thinking of two other families that i like trust where you know i can have her go off with them and i don't feel the need to be present all the time so i am lucky um about that but you know i don't know and like, I don't, like y'all get a lot of vlogs inside the house and stuff like that. Because I mean, I don't really hang out with um, people. And if I do, it's like, I'm hanging out with them and their child so that my child can hang out with their child or something like that. But um, otherwise, like, I'm not really hanging out with people on the weekend because I mean, that gets exhausting, like, trying to call people up and be like, hey, can my daughter come over? Can you watch my daughter? Like, I don't, that's, like, weird to me. I don't, I don't really do that. So, um, yeah, I just tend to stay in the house, <laughs> which is, like, horrible and boring, but, um, that is what it is, so. Yeah. But I, I know, I don't know, I need to, like, I'm, I'm trying to push myself this summer to do stuff. But, I mean, now it's even harder because she's injured and she can't really do too much. So it's not like I can take her to do too many things because, um, you know, you don't want her to walk around a lot because of the pain. She can't go to, like, jumpy places or, like, things like that. I'm boiling some water, if y'all can see back there. I need to put my pasta in the water, but. Yeah, I just wanted to come on camera, apparently, and just like rant to you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna finish doing the dishes and make some dinner. And I've been talking for, oh, I've been talking for 15 minutes. I'm like, why is my battery dying so quickly? I've only been talking for like five minutes and it's been like 15, but um, yeah, I just wanted to, I don't know, I guess I had something to get off my chest. I appreciate y'all listening to me. By the way, something random, I had posted something on my story on Instagram and um, somebody commented, they DM'd me and they, which I guess they follow me on Instagram. I don't follow them back, but they were like, uh, hey, I just wanted to ask you, what state do you live in? That's weird, sir. I'm, and I'm sure you could find out. Like, it's not, it, it wouldn't be that hard. But now you just made it weird. So I didn't respond. And then I scrolled up and noticed that he had been sending me DMs. But um, I don't really, I don't respond to DMs from dudes I don't know. Or, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Dudes that I don't know. I don't, I don't typically respond to their dms because for what you have to put it under my arm like yes yeah, so i'm just gonna lift your i'd rather see what you're about to do because i'm kind of scared but... you should be scared
location Let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through Send me your location Let's ride the vibrations I don't need nothing else but you Hey y'all I'm just out in my garage doing some cleaning. Y'all can see my workout stuff behind me. I haven't been in here and actually worked out in quite some time. And it's because it's like, sorry, your airplane's going by. So yeah, I haven't been out here in a while because it's like a little dirty. You know, there's just a lot of stuff to sweep up. I want to wipe down my equipment. And my daughter's net out, was out here for for softball so that was also in the way so i'm just cleaning up the stuff so that i'm motivated to actually come out here and work out so that i don't come out here and i'm like ooh, leaves and pine and all that so that's what we're doing and it's friday by the way so this is what i'm doing on my friday nights at times i wonder why i fool with you this is new to me this is new to you initially i didn't want to fall for you gather my attention it was all for you so don't take advantage and leave my heart damage you understand that things go a little bit better when you plan me oh don't you send me your location let's focus on communicating cause i just need the time and place to come through Spots that we can go Tell me what's the move and I got you I'm only acting like this cause I like you uh, Just give me the vibe to slide in And make you mine by the night so Won't you send me your location Let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through yeah. Send me your location, let's ride the vibrations I don't need nothing else but you Headed to the gym. Actually, it's not morning, it's 1.30, but y'all don't know that. So yeah, we're headed to the gym, and I have not ate anything all day, and I'm actually really hungry, so I might have to stop by Harris Teeter and get me like a banana or something. I was, in the last clip, I think y'all saw me cleaning out my garage so that I could work out in there, but I still decided to go to the gym. We haven't been to the gym in a while, by the way, and my battery's about to die. I bought a battery downstairs, so that I could put it in this camera and take it with me, but I just brought it downstairs and put it on the kitchen counter, apparently. So I guess y'all, maybe y'all will see, maybe I'll do something on my phone, I don't know, but I just wanted to check in with y'all, encourage y'all to get y'all up and get to the gym no matter what time it is, no matter what. Hey y'all, I had to pop in and do a voiceover for this. Y'all know it's that time of year where we're getting gnats, y'all. This is my bathroom, um, and I don't know why I have a gnat in here, but Ever since I found out about this, I've been doing it every year. I mix apple cider vinegar with some dish detergent. And for some reason, the gnats love this or fruit fries, whatever y'all call them. They love the smell of this and they're attracted to it. I put some saran wrap on top of a glass and pop some holes in it so that they can dig into the glass. The dish detergent is supposed to make it hard for them to actually get out once they get in it. So yeah, this is just a clip of me showing y'all how good it works. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Monday, I'm checking in with y'all again. I'm not picking up the camera often 
for some reason i feel like i was doing really good before where i was like picking up the camera more often but for whatever reason i'm not i just finished cooking dinner it's 8 30 it's pretty late i usually don't cook dinner this late or i try not to so i'll show you what i made my daughter and myself yes it's two different meals all right, so for my daughter, I just made some mac and cheese, some green beans. This is pot roast that I put in the crock pot or the, what is it called? Instant pot. My dad and his wife bought me one not too long ago after my crock pot broke. So I put that in the crock pot or uh, I put it in the instant pot for like an hour. It's pretty tender. Uh, she said that her braces still hurt from time to time. So she doesn't eat a lot of like meats that are tough to chew. I made I made my version of some um, like yams or whatever I don't eat yams or what do they call it sweet potato casserole or like anything like that but um, she likes it so I assume that it's good <laughs> and then I just got her some toast and this is my meal just some some rice I, I always eat sticky rice and then just my vegetables, y'all have seen this multiple times. And then I'm gonna put some of the gravy from the pot roast in mine, so that'll be really good. So that's what we're eating on tonight, y'all. So yeah, that's what we're eating on tonight, y'all. I ain't doing nothing, we just chilling. I don't know if her dad's gonna eat some too. We'll see, I made enough so that he could. But yeah, let me go. I'm gonna run this up to her because she's just been in her room. So I'll see y'all later. You initially, I didn't want to fall for you. Gather my attention, it was all for you. So.